Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Wow. That was at least a full half second. Dude, you got to let at it go. At least. No, it wasn't. At it least. Was on the dot. No. No, it was not. Because I started the da, 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 on the dot. And the music actually started after. After you went the da 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 da? Me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It yeah. It did. It did. You really threw off the whole thing today, man. It was off the whole show. Yeah. You guys know it's automatic, (laughs) Thanks, Chris. I got nothing to do with it. (laughs) Wait, are you saying that you're replaceable? (laughs) It's a computer What? What, We don't even need you in there? Is that what you're saying? (laughs) Wow. You're worth a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, All right. I don't know about a lot of money. (laughs) (laughs) That is true. Thank you for reminding me that. (laughs) And welcome to the show, Jeffy, uh, today with you and the fat in about half an hour or so. Uh, All right. So the White House has admitted to 148 errors from Joe Biden that they've had to correct in speeches (laughs) just this year. That's incredible. Speeches, press conferences, all Uh of it. He's done like, what did they say, like 118? Yeah, uh, 118. And they've doctored. And they've had to doctor 148 times just in 118 uh, documents. uh, It's amazing. uh, Less than four months. It's amazing. Of speeches and... And comments. you know that they didn't bother with a lot of it. No kidding. I mean, that's not even, mm. I'll bet that's not half of it. And the only reason, this last one was the pause. Yes. Uh, that, yes. They, that they didn't put in until they got called out on it. That's so great. And then they went back and left left pause. the inaudible and pause. Right. Right. And they're on the still. They're, and they tried to make it like he paused instead of he mm-hmm. said yes. pause. Yes. Oh my gosh! That's I mean, they're just... rewriting history right Congrats in front of us. Congrats on the watchdogs catching that stuff. Right in front of I love it. Go. I speaking love it. of the insanity, 148 times. Yeah, which it's May first. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you wow. see that they're ditching Bidenomics because it's become a joke? Like the term Bidenomics, they thought was going to be this incredible. Oh, thing I didn't to see describe. they're ditching it. Yeah, are they? So the, uh, good. They've noticed that wow. it hasn't been used, uh, by except the as a joke. Yeah. Well, I'm saying the White House has now yeah. cut that out of presentations. <sighs> well, and interesting. Stuff like that. I mean, and also, did you see that uh, Anita Dunn was trying to? I think she was recruited to uh, Lizard Tongue. You Lizard Tongue, uh, <laughs> member of okay. of this administration. <laughs> the the word on the street is that she was tasked with trying to squeeze KJP out. Oh, yeah. Because she's yeah, yeah. so bad. Oh, yeah. I did so, see yeah, that they KJP were trying is, to get her out, and she they're, wouldn't They're going to have go. to drag her out yeah. by her by her painted toenails, man. Yeah, and she wouldn't go. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. She's it not. is interesting that they know how bad she is and what a liability she is, though. That's interesting. I was kind of surprised by that, that there were people in the camp who were like, okay, come on, we got to do something about her. They knew that. Well, it's about time we've realized that. I know. I know, but it took a while. I mean, if we're going to send people up to lie for us, they have to be able to do it properly. Yeah, I know. So I'm um, a little distracted by what's going on at oh, UCLA. Holy cow. Lots to get to for that stuff today. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, they're they're showing the, a little confrontation between pro-Israeli protesters mm-hmm. and pro-Hamas activists at UCLA. At UCLA, they're fighting back. That's a campus. I wouldn't have expected that. Good for them. Yeah, I mean, Good. It, it did take a little bit Good. of time because uh, I read something yesterday that said uh, uh, parents of Jewish students at UCLA have been told, look, we're not allowed to intervene or do anything to help out these students. But overnight, uh, L.A. police actually moved in uh, on the campus. and uh, Yeah, they were called in overnight. Oh, now they, yeah. There was reports, what took the police so long to get here? To protect the Jews? Or? Uh, well, to, to break it up. Yeah, to break yeah. up the fighting. And then, you know, a couple of days ago at USC, why were the police here so early and acted so swiftly? Jeez. So let's make up our mind what I we know. want. Do we want, do we want, are we back in the blue or are we not back in the blue? Right. <laughs> so they have problems at USC too? I oh, mean, yes. Wow. All over. Yes. I mean, there's, yeah, I don't know that there's a university campus that isn't having it. Yeah, it's a social contagion at this point. It's just spreading from mm-hmm. campus to campus because everybody likes, oh, look, they're getting all kinds of attention. Yeah. Let's us do that, too. Even I think University that's what's of Utah happening. is getting protesters. University of Utah? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're godless animals, right? Right. Exactly right. <laughs> okay, so, so that makes a lot of sense for brand. the godless animals to be doing that. Yeah. Makes perfect <laughs> sense. How long before 
Salt Lake City is not a conservative town anymore, mm. is and hasn't been for quite some time. But um, it's a it's a hub of liberalism now. Sadly, I know. I want to see where Jeffy's question was going. What How was your long question? before uh, Provo, <clears throat> my friend? Uh, I hope never. I hope it never hap- happens to Provo, but no, we'll see. I'm just checking right we'll see. now. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of students oh, absolutely. at BYU absolutely. who are like, yeah, we got to do something yeah. about this too. Shut up. Yeah, I mean, it's not idiots. It, it's a contagion. It, yeah, it it's really a contagion. Yeah. yeah. And, it, you know, they're so easily swayed by stuff. And all of it's conflated now. It's yes. the one thingism. Yes. It's all tied in to gay rights, uh, trans civil rights, right, all civil of it, rights, all of it. All of it. And, you know, I love the fact that the gay or queer movement or whatever you want to call them or whatever they want to call themselves is in on it with the Palestinians who would behead them if they had a in chance. In a heartbeat. God, it just, just doesn't make any sense. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, we got more on that later. Um, but uh, I... I I love this story about the White House admitting to all these errors by Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. And uh, it's about time that we, you know, see just a glimpse of how bad this guy is. They were comparing the scripts from Trump to the scripts of Biden. And they didn't make any changes in, in Trump's because they didn't need to. Uh, but with Biden, well, I, I, I'm my right. gosh. Of course, and, and the other thing to that is is that, uh, you know, Trump is definitely a believer and that's what I said. You know, yeah, okay, I said it. What are you going to do about mm-hmm. it? Okay, sorry. Yeah. That's what I said. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, here's one of those uh, errors that they tried to correct, and this was the one with the pause in it, right? Where they, they left that out completely because it was so embarrassing. Inaudible. And they put inaudible. It wasn't inaudible. <laughs> We knew what he said from the very second he so, said it. And so did he. And so did he, and so did they, and so did the world. Uh, but check this out. Imagine what we can do next. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Pause. <laughs> Because oh he God. says, because at the very, at the after he said it, he stopped and he go, oh, and then oh, oh then the chant started, and then he had to smile like, I, yeah. I, I meant to say yeah. pause. I, I wish meant they that. hadn't I meant him that. out. I wish they, I, know. I wish they I just know. Been silent hair pin drop. Four more uh, years. Pause. Oh, uh, <laughs> so good. I was about to say that. <laughs> so then they tried to make it inaudible right. in the script, and then they were called out on it, and they wrote pause and inaudible. In there, oh, just I don't know. So bad, so bad. Uh, I don't like him much. Mm. I, I I don't like the president I that never, much. I don't like his people that much. It's like a sea change for you. Never picked up on that. <laughs> I know, right? Right? You wouldn't. You would think that I'd be a big fan, but no, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Also, feds are warning employers that they can be punished now for not using uh, preferred pronouns. Mm-hmm. I, I like that too. <laughs> In landmark guidance, the Federal Commission created to fight racial and sexual discrimination declared this week that employers that fail to use a worker's preferred pronoun or refuse them the chance to use the restroom of their choice will be engaging in prohibited harassment. So if you got a guy wow. in your office who considers himself a girl, you got to let him use the women's restroom? No, I'm sorry. Come on now. There may be a few times I'm considering myself Not a right. woman around I, here. I, that's what's going to happen. Psychos and perverts like Jeff Fisher wait, are, wait. are going to be abusing this. You walked into that one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of opened the door wide <laughs> there. Oh, well, very wide. I mean, we're mm. to believe that that's not going to happen? Of course, it's already happened. It has already happened. And they act like it's impossible what do you mean? It's happened multiple times of already. It has. It's happened to people in this building. Yeah. Not here at this building, but people who work here in the past have experienced it. Have yes. experienced it at Target and other places. Yes. Yeah. And so, I mean, how how is it so preposterous that psycho heterosexuals would do this? Perverts would do isn't. this. It are just you saying isn't. there are no perverts who would use this opportunity against women? What's the matter with you? What is the matter with you? Yeah, I saw another video of a lady at a Planet mm. Fitness 
talking about her experience. Mm. I mean, this is happening everywhere. Yeah. And and remember when it was so crazy when we said five, six, seven years ago, this is what's going to happen. Yes. And we were right. told, oh, stop it. Right. That's not going to happen. And it happened right away. And it's, it's been happening and it's the been whole time. documented time yeah. and time and time they again. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care about protecting women. And I don't care. Even if you are trans and you identify as a female, but you got a dangling unit there. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh, it's still not appropriate for you to be in the women's restroom. It's not. And I... I don't understand why the sensibilities of the women aren't a consideration at all. Not, Sorry, that's your problem. Those sensibilities are zero. None. I mean, we they don't play, care. We played that video of the the middle schoolers in West Virginia mm-hmm. at their track and field event, yeah. where they wouldn't participate in the event because the yeah. other school had a trans. It was a beautiful video, and they and, were the bad um, people, though. Well. Yeah. And now they are. They yeah, can't participate the at all now. Officially. Right. The schools officially, they've said, oh, because you did that, you can't participate in any other sporting events. That happened are before, too. Are you freaking too. kidding me? You're going to have to have the entire state band together so that the only one participating is the school with the trans. Right. Yeah. Right. All right, right. good there luck. You, go. you participate. You're the champions. The, yep. A little bit of good news out of that West Virginia middle school story <clears throat> you're talking about, Jeffy, is that the state attorney general has filed a suit against that the school school district. district. So, okay. who knows? It's just so. unbelievable. But seriously, it's I mean, just unbelievable. It sure is, and and, <clears throat> and, and it is showing that <laughs> it's showing that that are are we capable of self government? Are are we? Because doesn't it, feel like it, it right, right now. You, you just throw a dart, man, and hit a story out there, and it all comes down to our inability collectively mm-hmm. to just govern ourselves. Yeah. And and it's just a there's just no comment. It's a sense. reflection of of our own government now like on something like the border, right? And if there mm-hmm. there's no government going on down there, it's just Yep. It's bad stuff, bad times. Yeah, Help. it is. Help. It is. You know, and it's bad enough that you have to use the proper pronoun. <laughs> what happened to sticks and stones? It uh-huh. break my bones, but names and certainly pronouns will mm-hmm. never hurt me. Those days are a long, a long gone. Long. I mean, it's like words are the worst wound that you can possibly administer yeah. it to anyone now. They don't, they don't care as much about sticks and stones. No, don't. don't you dare throw words at me because those kill me every time. every time. It's asinine. What kind of sissy society have oh, we become? Man. And this, and the, but then you go to the bathroom thing, and that just that just blows it completely out of the water. I mean, I, I don't even know. How you can ask this of employers? Well, okay, you let men go into the women's restroom uh, if they identify that way. Come on now, that just uh, it doesn't make any sense. How is this possible? Chaos, chaos. I always mentioned it before. I don't know. I don't know how we got here, but Chris reminded me of what I brought up yesterday, and that's that uh, this all started. When, when people went to the metric system. Thank you. Kind of did. The world started going downhill when we went to the metric system. Kind of did. When we just yep. said, well, we're just yep. going to do that. Yep. And now we've we've held out these last 30 or 40 years. But now but we, you're starting to see the metric system creep yeah. into everyday stories. And it's killing us. <laughs> That's what's happening here. The freaking metric system I mean, I, bringing us down. I don't know all what you're, of us. I don't know what you're laughing about. <laughs> I'm not laughing about anything. <laughs> I'm laughing so I don't cry <laughs> about the metric there you system. Go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what else happened? And uh, I didn't want to mention this, oh, but no. uh, 1963 prayer decision in schools. Mm. Oh yeah. I, things gotten better, worse, or about the same since the 1963 Supreme Court prayer in school decision. Hmm. Let's see. Let's take a look. You can trace it right back to yeah, that. You, you kind of can. You absolutely yeah, can. You kind of can. I mean, it's funny to talk about the metric system, but this really tracks back to 1963 and the decision on prayer. Uh, yeah. Let's remove God from our world, the public square. Our world. From yeah. our world. 1963, the year the deep state took over uh, our government as oh, well. Oh, that's right. The assassination of yes. John Kennedy. Yes, indeed. 1963 was a the banner coup. year. As was it Ron Paul? Yeah, Ron Paul, Ron Paul uh, yeah. called it the coup yeah. that happened in 1963. The Supreme Court decision uh, that was heinous and despicable mm-hmm. about you can't sorry you can't pray in in public anymore because of the separation of church and state that doesn't exist. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. And since then, again, better, worse, or about the same. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ten years later, we had Roe v. Wade um, and the slaughter of uh, babies. I mean, oh, you could... Uh, that's where it started here in this country. And they were still clinging on to uh, uh, their gun and gods still. <clears throat> and we've pretty much lost grip on that. We have, altogether, yeah. together, man. Yeah, we really have. That, that's a fact. I mean, we've got... We've got I mean, it's been going on for a long time as far as Hollywood is concerned. But I saw mm-hmm. a story about Brian Cox, the guy from Succession. And he does the... You hear his voice on the McDonald's commercials, Mr. Yes. Mr. Actor. Yes. Talking about uh, the new... The, the real church is the theater. Is in a good way. The real church is the theater, right? And not the church, not, right? Yeah. And I mean, is he saying that's a good thing? Oh or? yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. Yeah. I'd also like to point out, gentlemen. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, I know. Jeez. Uh, in 1963, this is where it really all went downhill. July 1st, 1963, when zip codes were introduced by the United States Postal Service. <laughs> you start, you start assigning all, numbers to everyone. It's all downhill. First of all, that, don't start going against <laughs> the USPS because you, oh, then, then you're going to yeah, have a now you're going to run against. a foul. Oh, okay. Jeff, because, because nobody supports, nobody supports the, the US. postal service. <laughs> More than uh, Jeff Fisher you, does. <laughs> it's awesome. Now you've gone too far. My Kate. bad. Sorry. <laughs> Carry on, gentlemen. Uh, all right. You know, there are those who lead and there are those who follow. And uh, when it's when it's time for you to buy or sell a home, especially in this housing market, the type of person you need is the former, not the latter. The person who leads. A number of years ago, uh, Glenn got so fed up with the follower types, not to mention the leader types who who didn't know what they were doing, that he decided to do something about it. He started Real Estate Agents I Trust because he didn't want you to go through all the same hassles that he had to every time he moved. Real Estate Agents I Trust pairs you with the best real estate agent in your area. Somebody who knows the best practices. Someone who understands the crazy housing market, someone who's a team leader and a closer, you know, somebody you can trust. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home or doing both because you're relocating, get in touch with them. I think you'll see what I mean. Real estate agents I trust. The name says it all. Real estate agents I trust.com. Beware. Pat Gray is unleashed. All right, uh, Chris, explain this video from uh, <laughs> former Trump attorney Michael Cohen. What, yeah. what yes. are we about to see here? So you're about to see Michael Cohen try to be the cute little cosplay girl because you're going to see a lot of flowers, hearts, and that means that mm. whoever's watching it is actually sending him money. Right. As oh. he's trying to that's be. How you, that's how you make money on TikTok. That's how you TikTok. make money on TikTok. Well, extra money on TikTok. What? And so hmm. they're giving tokens and stuff like that. But the cool thing is, like, as he's trying to be serious, uh-huh. he has to act upon whatever is being asked of him to do. So you see him do little heart shapes. What you see him do is a, this? He has to act on because that's what they're paying for. He doesn't have to, though. But he does. No, he does. Here's the video. No, he does. Okay. Or, or encumber these assets anymore. They will then start to sell them off. These here commercial properties he is uh, two or three. That's what for happens example, during the TikTok live. <laughs> because there's something mentally wrong with somebody who doesn't understand. The judge has had enough. He's messing with the wrong. Going to <laughs> take this. He is not going to just of this. And on top of that, you know, look, we're all sitting here and we're all watching every single day. Okay. They okay, will that's operate. Humiliating. All- oh, that's right? a universe. That's a lot. That is just so same bad time, same wow. bad weird. Time. See you then. So he's trying to he's trying to speak about legal matters, yeah, legal the Trump stuff issues. Yes, Trump. Yeah, and people are sending him things money. that are serious, like, and people send him money to do certain. So, no, yeah, the, the people send him. No, the, people are just sending him money. Yeah. because he's doing his TikTok live. So bad. right, and that's I mean that's what those TikTok lives do. You go <sighs> on and do whatever you do. And you have people send you those, uh, you know, those those emojis equal money. So, uh-huh. like, you know, the if, if you can buy, you go to TikTok and you buy the emojis. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you saw the they you can go up the TikTok universe one is worth forty four thousand nine hundred ninety nine coins, and under the TikTok, they're all worth separate uh, different amounts 
each each emoji is worth a different amount that you purchase from TikTok. Mm-hmm. Okay, so TikTok <laughs> is getting it you get from this both bed? sides. Wow. All right. So if I go into TikTok and I buy, <laughs> I buy uh, a certain amount of of coins. Yeah, the tokens. Yeah, the, the tokens. Okay, that's fine. You call them whatever you want. But mm-hmm. then uh, when I give them to you during your live, TikTok takes half of that as well. Oh wow! Mm. Really? Yeah. Yikes. Okay. So, so how much do the coins add up to? Like, if you get forty four thousand tokens, how much I money think, is I that? I think that's like. Uh, hold on. Let me see what it costs. So he got forty four thousand. The, if we, we've got the universe one. Universe cost, thing meant? Yeah, it um, ranged from one coin to 45000 or forty four ninety five. dollars uh-huh. um, Let's see. The universe one is $525. So he just made $525. Well, actually, but TikTok took half. So, 212 right? Oh, jeez. Wow. Right? And, and then he, it goes down from there. But who's doing the cowboy hat on him? And That's just the emoji. Him that. Yeah, somebody Someone paid him that, him that and yeah. then, or, the, or then the TikTok <laughs> Live gives you that emoji. Yeah, yes. we got to get you to do what it is. That's just the algorithm. <laughs> not, it, I don't, you That's can just pay the me algorithm. Five million dollars. I'm not putting myself through that. Oh, oh I am. Oh. Okay, wait, five million. Yes, I am. You give me five million for doing that, I will do the emoji. How about one million? Yes, I will. I'll do it for a million. Fifty thousand. No, I will not yes, do it there for we go, fifty thousand. No. no, but okay. one million dollars. That's my bottom line. What's your bottom line. If TikTok wants to pay me a million dollars, you can put the cowboy hats and well, the there's people watching. Emojis there's people watching. Why, why is he watching. doing? Why he's is just he doing this? For the he's just yeah, he's just saying thank you. While he's, he's talking yes. politics yeah. and law, he's doing the heart thing yeah. with his hands. I mean, well, you watch all the all the live, all the live. Of course, he's a piece of crap. I mean, I can't. Stand that guy. He's the worst. Not like that, Keith. You're doing it I wrong. I, I, clearly, you I'm doing it wrong. You gotta be kidding me, bro. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Okay. There, you go. Yes. there you go. How much does that cost us? So yeah. you get like, like, see, if you buy 175,000 tokens or coins, that's uh-huh. $249. $249.99. So, That's not very much. For 175000 No, for 17500 coins. Oh, okay. Right. And then you just give them away to lives if you want. You know, to people that you like. They Sometimes sometimes the creators Weird. have battles where they show up and they have like uh, four different creators on the screen. And they battle out who can raise the most money. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, people are out hawking their wares, selling their stuff. And with TikTok taking so much money out of that, though, a lot of creators then go to promote, hey, come and follow me on my Patreon. Or so you know who's really doing here. well with this? The CCP. Correct. Yes. The, the Chinese That's correct. communist government. That's correct. Because also, yeah. all on TikTok, they have, Congratulations. Channels, they have channels where they're selling things that are specifically just TikTok channels. They aren't just yeah. a creator like you and I. They're... Owned by TikTok. No wonder they don't want to sell it. That's correct. Oh, no. It's a money factory it's a, machine. It's a monster-making mm-hmm. money. I mean, wow. a lot. Yeah, obviously. A lot. But the whole point And this that, is happening worldwide. Yes. Correct. The whole point that Keith was bringing wow. this up is usually when someone is doing that on the other end, it's a cute little cosplay girl, not an old fart like Michael Cohen. Oh, oh I don't oh. know about that. <laughs> yes. That's the whole thing mm. bringing that up. It's that's like, awesome. why are you trying to be a cosplay e-girl? Mm-hmm. When you obviously Michael Cohen cosplay being costume, yes, play. an yeah. e girl, mm-hmm. internet mm-hmm. girlfriend, You're right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> wonderful. What a world! <laughs> what a world indeed! You guys learned something today. Yeah, we did. <laughs> did I, we did. did I? I've never seen this TikTok thing before. That's interesting. Oh, uh, you won't see Taylor Swift doing that. I'll say that. Oh yeah, Taylor Swift doesn't need to do that. She's got the top fourteen songs in the country, <laughs> and thirty one. Of the top 100. Well, I know you were talking about that yesterday. We'll get to that during Chewing the Fat, but uh, I've got something that may change your mind on how great she is. Hmm. Oh, what? I'm not saying how great she is. You kind of are. The whole thing. It is. I mean, it's incredible. She's your girl. Her her success is incredible. She's your girl. I'm not in love with her music. She's not my girl. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder if he was going to let that go. (laughs) Not my girl. I am... Uh. Not uh, a Swifty. Uh, I just sent Although you a I heart did, emoji. So my my daughter in law, my son and daughter in law were over l- last night, and I and about half an hour into them being there, I said, Megan, I'm really surprised that uh, mm. you haven't brought up Taylor Swift yet and mm. her 14 of the right. top 100 right, songs accomplishments. 
And then she just went off. And then we had to watch uh, the number one song, which was the one you like. Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. Post Malone. Fortnite. It's not bad. It's, no, it's, it's not okay. Bad. You know? I'm, I mean, but I didn't. Why wouldn't you enjoy the respite for one night? You know? Why would you bring it up? Yeah, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. But, but you know, the song is okay. But you know why? It's not bad. Oh, no. Because I'm a girl. Swifty. That's yeah, his girl. That's yeah. my girl. That's his girl. Hey, right. we're going to do an overtime <laughs> We're going to do an overtime episode listening mm-hmm. to all 31 songs. Oh, mm-hmm. so, oh. We're going to grade them? That's going to happen yeah, we're like gonna tomorrow, them. right? Is no, that, it's going to be, a, I think it's a Friday. Friday show? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Friday overtime. This cool. coming Friday? Yeah. All right. Oh. Neat. Well, there you go. You better subscribe now if you're you a big better. Swifty. Yes. <laughs> Promo code Pat Originals. <laughs> uh, speaking as we were momentarily about Trump, um, the judge in his case held him in contempt yesterday for some comments that he has made about the case. What he, was that nine thousand dollars? Is that what it yeah. was? Yeah. Were these tweets, comments? I think he was supposed to take down to some, tweets some tweets too, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Or truth or social truth, posts yeah, or whatever. Or else truthers, yeah. Or else he gets he gets fined more. I think. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, also yesterday, or on thrown the, in jail on the coven, uh, Whoopi Goldberg didn't hold back her disgust for Donald Trump. Okay. There's also this is my favorite. Yeah. Oh and my I, I'm going to tell you before I say it that it enraged me. It enraged me. There is a definite anti-white feeling in the country right now. Oh please. That enraged That's you. That's what he said. You know, sir. No, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sir. <laughs> right. Nobody in your family no, I was can't, hung. I can't hear it. Oh, oh my God! Stop! I can't. Nobody no, in your I'm not going to go down. Was chased because oh, of the geez. color of their skin. How- okay. Oh my gosh. You know that half Whoopi. as many whites. Okay, just half. But half as many whites were lynched as blacks. You know that it wasn't just blacks who were lynched, by the way. Um, and it is. Terrible, terrible thing. Ashamed of it. Really awful period in American history. Um, but I think we got past it, didn't we? I thought we did. Didn't but we get past I, it? I guess we didn't. I mean, we I haven't. guess we did. We haven't. We haven't because uh, it continues to it, come up, it and sure at some does. point, have we atoned for it? Well, ever? Yeah. Is there ever a point when we finally atoned for that? Maybe after we have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> maybe after we have a conversation <laughs> about it, then maybe we can atone for it. That's a good I mean, point. I That's can't a good take point, it. I Jeffy. can't take it. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg, ABC News. Yeah. She's <laughs> five million, eight million a year. We should look up what her salary is. She's making millions. And really, come on. The sentiment in the country right now is not anti black. It's mm. it is anti white. Anti white. Yeah. Eight million a year for Whoopi. Uh but how dare you even suggest, Pat Gray, you just like mm-hmm. Donald Trump, suggesting that whites yeah have uh, there's some kind of sentiment against yeah. whites right now yeah My terrible goodness. i mean awful oh sorry wonder if we should play that next clip now all right let's oh. play the next clip <laughs> stop you're just a white person you're a white person get out we don't yeah. like white people they don't like oh, white people free Palestine. what are you what is she i know what is she I don't know. But uh, she would be she, she's a, not white. a Hamas hole or a Hamatsi. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Take your pick. Uh, uh, There's no anti-white. But it is it is a fact that the anti-whiteness has spread to white people. Right? No, oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Self-loathing yes. white people? Yep. That's yeah. a big issue in this country. Big issue. Yep. Yes, sir. And I'm not going to sit around and bitch about being white. I, I, But there is a definite movement right now against... White people. Absolutely. You're made to feel bad. And I don't know, should we feel bad just because we're white? I don't think so. My ancestors had nothing to do with any of this. Mm-hmm. Okay. My people did not do this. My people were not slave owners. Uh, they came here from Europe in the 18, mid 1800s, had no slaves, started in Pennsylvania, moved to Wisconsin, then Montana. Okay. And uh, never owned a slave. Yeah, but you're just white. We don't like you. Not ever. You're white. We don't like you. I know. And that's the thing. That's what we're up against right now. There is that feeling right now. We're just, you're you're white, you're bad. You can't tell me that's not happening right now. It is. 888-900-3393. More Pat Gray Unleashed. And uh, we'll chew the fat next with Jim. Pat Gray Unleashed.
Welcome. <laughs> Got some uh, tweets here before we get to uh, Jeffy's chewing the fat. Stand up, Chuck tweets. Happy National Democrat Party holiday. Yeah, May 1st. May Day. The commie holiday that we all, well, okay, Democrats love. Uh, Paco D tweets, pause is the new don't. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Osh, uh, will any of these protesters be given the January 6th treatment? Nope. Oh, no, no, they will not. In, in many cases, they've already been released. Yeah. And and by the way, did you see that something like two-thirds, I think, of the protesters arrested at Texas uh, were from outside the university? Shocker! Oh, what a surprise. But remember, they've already been released, so no, we won't get the J6. <sighs> right now. Carolina right. Bulldog. Uh, it's all fun and games until somebody breaks out the target, the, the tear gas. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Well, That's a said. real shame. And from uh, Adrian <laughs> Slade, uh, The View has been consistently the most racist racist show on television yeah. and the dumbest show yeah. on yeah. TV. Those are the dumbest idiots and, that have oh ever gosh. been on a and, and national think about broadcast. What Whoopi said about the history of racism and, and ancestors being chased and hung and all this stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, and now, look, you're in a nation where you, a black woman, make an $8 million a year salary. And is it, an EGOT winner. EGOT winner. It just, shows that our nation uh, has changed just a little bit. Whoopi, give us some credit. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Tony. Yeah, she's been oppressed. And, she's been held back, hasn't she? Right. Jeez, come I mean, on now. how about be thankful for the country you live in? Just, right? Just a tad. Right. Just All right. a tad. Uh, time to chew the fat with Jeffy. Oh, we got to... Fury and energy coming through with another one of these. It's Wednesday is here, so you know what that means. Like the moon to the sun, he will block out your screen. He was no game caught on the other spots. Save the West, so better thank him twice when you're in. He saved the West. Quote him on that. Facts are facts. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Uh, that that's is a good fact. stuff. That is a fact. Fury that's and energy. Yeah. I think that's the best one so far. I do too. Really good. Yeah, I, think I like that's it. The best one. <laughs> Once you're in it, you're yeah. in it. You can quote him on that. I mean, it's already catchy, man. <laughs> that's good stuff. Yeah. You know, it's also. Uh, <laughs> Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. So I don't know if oh, you've got your tree up time. or anything. Mm. We've got grass skirts hanging up all over the house. Nice. Now and everything. Yeah, nice. Ready okay. to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just us. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yesterday, uh, you know, we'll get back to your girl, uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Okay. Get back to your girl. All right. Yeah, uh, let's get back to my girl. Okay. I'm just saying. This, right. this, gonna, this mm -hmm. may change your mind about uh, your girl, Taylor no, Swift, there's and no how great my she mind is. On okay? how great Taylor because Swift is. Uh, I watched this multiple times, and I didn't. I mean, it's horrific mm -hmm. to see. You can go ahead and start the video. It's, it's horrific. I'm going to let you watch. I've watched this multiple times. This is her 2023 flight path uh, for. <laughs> For the year and uh, her carbon footprint. No kidding. Her carbon footprint. No, I mean this is the beginning. It's a minute and a half. Uh, the the her carbon footprint for 2023 alone. Mm -hmm. Sixty seven thousand five hundred and thirty four cows. Hold okay, on. cows. Thir yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, we we're told that we have to we have to we have to stop cows. This is great. <laughs> we have to stop uh, yeah, she cows. hasn't even met Travis that's yet, has she? Because Kansas City see, hasn't been oh, a landing you know, it's spot coming. yet. I it's, it is. Coming. <laughs> that's coming. That's I mean, coming. I was just well, who, who does she know in Atlanta or Tennessee or wherever that is? Yeah, Nashville. I mean, mm. it just continues on and on and on. That's great. I mean, I know she paid her <laughs> so uh, carbon offsets. Yeah, but I don't know that it was enough. Whoever did yeah, this. And the problem is, this is one of the things that she whines about. That's correct. You know. Okay, well, if that's the case, you better stop your tours. <clears throat> you better stop your I mean, Eras think about tour. this. I mean, this is 2023. Oh, so look at that. Wow. In 2024, she was she was uh, in Australia and Japan. And, wow. Right? I mean, she, now we're oh, still, yeah, this we're is still just in 2023. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Boy, a lot of trips <laughs> to KC in November. Yeah, well, so. yeah. I, read, I read it was 178,000 miles. She went 178,000. Thousand miles yeah. last year. So now, how do you feel about your girl? Uh, I mean, oh, nothing. Cow. Nothing can damage my love. Okay, for All right. Taylor Swift. All right. Speaking <laughs> of rock stars, 
<laughs> Speaking of rock stars, uh, uh-huh. you know, in October we talked about uh, the Rolling Stones are releasing their first album since 2005, Hackney Diamonds. Well, last week in Houston, Texas, at NRG Stadium, they kicked off the Hackney Diamonds tour. My favorite part of their my, of the tour is it's sponsored by AARP. And uh, it's fitting that, <laughs> that that's is their sponsor. That is. That is, that is absolutely. incredible. That's embarrassing. So Come it's on It's still funny, though. Come on. They've got a 16-stadium tour going on in the U.S. Uh, mm-hmm. that will end up in uh, Santa Clara, San Francisco. Uh, and then they AARP head, sucks, by the way. And then they head to Europe. Don't you say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We, don't suck. worry about – we're not worried about bashing things here. Oh, you're, talking being about, positive. you're talking okay. about <laughs> being positive. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I forgot your Mr. Sunshine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they are definitely uh, partners in destroying America. They are. Mm-hmm. They absolutely are. They're shills of this administration. And the Obama, and the Obama yep. administration. Sorry, Jeffy. Think positive, Pat. Yeah, it's, right. They're turning positive. It's the okay. Rolling Stones tour. Right. Yeah. It's the Stones, Stones tour. tour. Makes Happy perfect sense. Happy Diamonds tour. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you look, I'll tell you what. Uh, you go ahead and start. This is just a clip of them in, uh, in Houston. Uh, last week, uh-huh. Mick Jagger. Did he come out of the Medicare. Eighty VIP years old. Tent? Eighty years old. Turns eighty-one 80. Uh, in July. Oh man. Uh, Keith Richards. Eighty. Keith Richards. Eighty. Turns wow. eighty-one uh, in wow. uh, December. And Ronnie Wood, the whippersnapper, yeah. is seventy-five. Turns seventy-six in June. Jeez. I respect it though. I'm so glad he's out there. Uh, now. I mean, look at that. 80 years old. It backs up when you see them all on the stage. Com- uh, compared to that, to Joe Biden. Uh, that's right. Right. That's incredible. Uh, that's exactly that's incredible. Right. Wow. And then it, it backs up when you see the Good whole band. Him. Uh, you see the whole band. But I mean, they're. Do we is... see the wheelchair access to the stage? Yeah, well, I think you can make it out when he backs up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we, go. there we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. There they That's are. That's awesome. That, I mean, man. there's the band. It, when you compare that. they're that, still alive is incredible. Right. It sure is. With all they've done, all they've been through, holy cow. And, only, I mean, and not only that, they're still performing at 80. Did, wow. Did, did he have a boost beverage on the stage or something like that? I don't know. Insure. I, I think insure is their yeah. preferred drink. I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just, I was thinking about, you know, Mick being 80, mm-hmm. and I was looking at, like, he's got, I think, six kids, right? Mm. And his girlfriend From now. From probably six women. His girlfriend now mm-hmm. is young, younger than, I think, three of the kids. Oh, I bet. So, I bless his heart. I love him. <laughs> love him for that. <laughs> <laughs> love him for that. What a surprise. Really? You admire that about him? No. Huh. Weird. I mean, all right. It's Mick Jagger. I know. I know you're you're hating on the whole AARP thing, hate, but well, yeah, AARP sucks. But you know, they're sponsoring the tour. Uh, let me tell you about uh, somebody who's sponsoring the show, and um, yeah, because it's 2024, and you got to start taking care of your liver. I mean, the Stones know that. They've yeah, they know. <laughs> they know. They've been through a lot. They don't want fatty liver on top of no, it. No, they all. do not. <laughs> okay, the drug abuse was enough. Let's not get fatty liver, too. <laughs> so uh, that's where you turn to um, That's where you turn to pure health. And the uh, this is the pure liver health formula. You know, 100 million Americans have fatty liver. So a lot of us are at risk. We throw all kinds of things at it. You know, hopefully not as many things as the stones threw at their bodies. Uh, but things like alcohol and toxins and Tylenol and cigarettes that just aren't good for your liver. They give you the sluggish fatty liver that makes us gain weight and lose energy. So take care of your liver. It is time to help your liver instead of hurt your liver. There's a solution. It's called Liver Health Formula. It's an all-natural supplement which contains 11 clinically proven botanicals that recharge and protect your liver. You can try Liver Health Formula and get a free bottle of nano-powered omega-3 to help your heart, too. Try Liver Health Formula by going to getliverhelp.com slash pat. Claim your free bonus gift. That's getliverhelp.com slash pat. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. And Jeffy's got more chewing here. All right. Uh, the heavyweight uh, showdown 
uh the july 20th bout between uh youtuber uh jake paul and uh well he's a boxer now prize fighter and former heavyweight boxing champion mike tyson will be classified as a sanctioned professional fight by the texas department of licensing and regulations Mm -hmm. uh it will be uh contested over eight two-minute rounds each fighter using 14 ounce gloves the outcome will affect their professional boxing records Mm. so tyson um is 50 and 6 with 44 knockouts. He Can't believe he's win. lost 6 times. That's amazing. I know. I know he's going to be 58 mm-hmm. and uh, Jake Paul will be 27. That's a 31 uh, year age gap and that's the biggest in history of professional boxing. <sighs> So this video shows them both training. Starts off with Jake and then heads to Mike. Okay. Uh, just gives you a little quick preview of what's happening uh, before the fight as they train for it. This looks a lot like my daily workout. And me too. I yeah, know. It's, it's boring. Just, uh-huh. A, uh-huh. just a daily thing in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I mean, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he does. Mm. Yeah, he does. And he's only lost once. He lost to the Fury brother. Oh. I, I mean, feel like it's, uh, but it's Tyson, more, more of a hazard to be the sparring partner for Mike Tyson. I know. I, I don't Paul. want none of that. Look at that. Well, these, this, He's still fast at 57. Yeah. God. And he Look ju- at that. I mean, who'd want to get in front of that? No, thank you. He just released a five-second video. Everything's on. good until you get yeah. punched in the face. That's right. Everyone's got a plan, right? Everybody's got uh, a plan. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so Pat, I'm curious. You know, <laughs> we talked about your your lowest threshold for doing the TikTok video. Yeah, this right here is his latest dollars. video. What's yeah. your What's your? I mean, just to get oh, to five, get in the ring with Mike seconds. Tyson. Yeah. Take one punch from Mike Tyson. What's your <sighs> lowest? Man. Uh, Oof. price? Well, hopefully I mean, you get in the ring with him. You're not going to get punched by him. You're putting up a little bit of a. You got to dance you, around for two do minutes. A little, yeah. do a little dance. But make just make a little love. Get down tonight. And you would get down. Yeah, you would. You'd be on the <laughs> ground would. very quickly. Would. That's the old Richard Pryor joke, right? When he was in the ring and he got knocked out, and he said, "I was looking out, I was looking on the ring, laying down, and people were saying, get up, get up, f you." That's the reason I'm down here in the first place. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I would take. Would a you lot. do it for a million? A million? Yeah, I think I would. Two minute dance? Because you probably wouldn't get brain damage from one punch. And even if you did. One punch. <laughs> even if you did. <laughs> even if you did. I mean, it's even a good start on the medical bills. Jeez. Yeah, now, he claims, I don't know about Jake, but Mike said he's going without sex and drugs now before this fight. Okay. Uh, he's giving up uh, giving up <laughs> the wife, sleeping with the wife, and no more pot. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. <laughs> going to get more angry. I'm looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. I know it's going to be awesome, I'm and it's on it. Netflix, yeah, right? It's going to be here. It's, in, it's going to be here in uh, Arlington at yeah. uh, AT and T, and it's well, it's not free. I mean, you have to be a subscriber well, to Netflix. Yes, right. And trust me, Netflix ain't free. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, I do trust you on that. <laughs> you could, they, they keep yeah. jacking their prices every time I turn around. Uh, remember to subscribe to my daily show, Chewing the Fat, uh, available wherever you get your podcast. And hey, today. Uh, you and I, Pat, are doing uh, off the record. Oh yeah, the Q and A for Blaze TV subscribers. So this is right. your chance to chat with us. Anything that's uh, on your mind or ours. Uh, off the record weekly Blaze TV show where you get to ask the questions. However, it's only Blaze TV subscribers. So if you're not Blaze TV subscriber, become one today. Go to blazetv.com slash off the record, and you can use the promo code off the record get a discount on your subscription. Never miss an episode today. Uh, 11 a.m. Central. Time Join to update the TV. photos. Can we please, for the love of heaven, by them. all that is good, right, and holy, I already update told the photos. <laughs> I know Jeffy <laughs> lost a little bit more hair, so we need to fix his. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Oh. Oh. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> good I've lost catch, a little Chris. Bit more hair. You're welcome. That's <laughs> what it is. Uh, that's what I think you look really is. good there, actually. That's a good photo of you. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't change Jeffy's, but. Please change. Oh, yours? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jeff. Yeah. Well, there's a couple oh, other okay. pictures of you, Pat, that uh, are oh, even worse. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And and I'm asking, I'm asking that they update all of them. I just asked yesterday. I sent a text. I said, yeah. don't Come shoot on. the messenger. I mean, we got the, we, why did we do the photo shoot oh. if we're not going to use about a month ago. the, the photos? photos. Well, hold on. It was a month ago. You got to take it over to the Kodak uh, parking lot. Oh, right, yes. right, right. You got to get it developed. Yeah, and then they got to mail it out. It takes at least 
two weeks, two weeks. to get the two film weeks. developed, right? right? right. So, right. yeah, okay. You're right. Once so. you take it to the drive-in <laughs> booth, then they <laughs> got to send it out. Right. They got to yeah, 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 yeah. the factory. And if you do the one-hour photo de- delivery thing, you pay through it's the nose. so expensive. It's, so expensive. Yeah. 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 it's like the one-hour Martinizing. We're, we're right. just, it just costs more money. We're not if I want my... My clothes martinized. I got to pay through yeah. the nose yeah. for that process. Yeah. Yes, you do. Because it's so much different. Well, yeah, than they got just so expensive. Laundry. They went out of business. <laughs> <laughs> One hour martinizing. <laughs> I remember Glenn and I did a bit like forty years ago, where we called a bunch of laundry ma- laundromats and asked them. Uh, you do how long does your is? one hour martinizing take? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny then. And usually it was like 90 minutes. Uh, <laughs> wait. wait. Even I that's know just, that. Matt. Thus the comedy. That's the sheer just our name. That's just comedy. our name yeah, is one hour martinizing. We don't actually name. provide martinizing <laughs> in one don't, hour. Actually. Yeah. And uh, uh, what 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 is martinizing? Can you tell me what the process is? They couldn't do that either. No, it's a, no, that. that's, oh, a train secret. That, yeah, that's right. One no. of them thought it was uh, the owner was named Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably close to the I truth. I bet it is. Let's probably, find yeah. out. That's probably close yeah. to the truth. What There's no doubt is. about that. All right, so uh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you the first. Uh, let's, we have time for this. Uh, no one supports zoos more than me, and it's chewing the fat. That's clear. And uh, we had a 19. It's been 19 years since the first YouTube video was posted uh, called Jawed. Uh, he uploaded what? a 19 second it's video. Been, so 2005, 2005 was the first April 23rd, YouTube? 2005. First YouTube video right here. Wow. All right, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. And the cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, trunks. And that's, that's cool. <laughs> we haven't come much farther. No, we really haven't. We haven't this come could have much been, farther. This could have been done at any time. <laughs> Is how many views? That was for at that the thing? San Diego. That was at the San Diego Zoo. Uh, I don't know. Huh. I don't. I don't know what the view Be interesting count was. To find but, out. Yeah, the first one that's been there the longest. Yeah, has it been viewed the? Certainly, probably been not. Viewed the most. No way. No. no way. I'm sure. I'm sure your girls got most of those. My anyway, girl. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Such a Swifty man. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We got another zoo. Nobody story too. appreciates I, Taylor well, Swift more than I do. Cool. That's. I mean, hello. <laughs> that's clear. <laughs> <laughs> the Martin Equipment Company okay. started martinizing. Really? Dry so cream? it is named after the Martin yeah. Equipment yeah. Company, the Martin yeah. people. Huh. All right. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> oh, it's only got 36,000 views. Oh, see. Wow. All right. Yeah. More coming up momentarily here. Pat Gray Unleashed. Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Welcome. Uh, great to have you with us. You know what? Uh, Mother's Day coming right on up here. We are in it's, uh, two weeks from yesterday? No, uh, day before. No. Uh, Sunday. Two weeks from Sunday. Week and a half from now. A week and a half from now, two weeks from last Sunday, though. <laughs> it's three weeks from well, Sunday. Yeah, last. Two, a right. Sunday and a half ago. It it's yeah, three weeks I, from I, that I, one. Yeah, that one. I mean, it's almost a, a year. <laughs> it's a year from last, last Mother's Day. Nearly a year, yeah. but not quite. We're about three hundred and fifty <laughs> days ish from fifty two, three hundred and fifty two days. So. Anyway, Mother's Day. Yeah, so, just anyway, around, Mother's coming up right Day around the corner. Coming up, you need to get your mom flowers, and the place to get flowers for mom because of all she's done for you. She's my mom. I'm, I miss her so much, and uh, she was. There's one thing I knew in life that was absolutely certain, and that was the love of my mom. And I'm sure it's that way for you. That's why you send farm fresh flowers from Books to your mom. To your wife, the mother of your children, to your sister, your aunt, your grandmother, because you're going to get 25% off your entire books purchase so you can send some to every loved one in your life. Every mother you know. So the books company is different because their flowers are cut fresh and they're sourced directly from the best flower farms. And they last way, way longer, like 
a week or two sometimes. You know, the reason my wife years ago said, don't send me flowers anymore, was because we were using companies where the, the flowers weren't fresh. And they died in two days. Or they showed you know? up dead. Or they showed up dead, which I hate. Uh, you won't have that problem with books. Mother's Day is May 12th, so it is uh, essentially 11 days away, right? Order right now. And with 25% off, you can send to mom, wife, aunt, grandma, who, whomever. Go to books.com, use the promo code PAT, get 25% off. That's B-O-U-Q-S, short for bouquet. That's books.com, promo code PAT. That gray is unleashed. Not a spooky dude tweets, uh, Whoopi, meaning Whoopi Goldberg, also doesn't know how the Irish were treated. Worse than the blacks. I'm not sure it was worse than the blacks, but it was bad. It was The Irish were tw- treated badly. Uh, Everyone was, though. Every, right. I mean, the, every immigrant group that yes, came here yes. was given a ration of crap for the first decades, for sure. Uh, but uh, not a spooky dude wants to know where he gets his reparations for being Irish. Um, those are not rep- note coming, not coming uh, anytime soon. No, and the our point sure. is, is that our reparations are that we get to live in the United States of America. Yeah, right. I mean, right. Well, I don't understand. Mm. I, I just don't. And you know, there was a civil war, uh, and six hundred thousand Americans died to put a stop to slavery. And then people will say, well, that wasn't fought over slavery. Yeah, it was. It was, Yeah, though. Maybe in the very beginning, that wasn't the main issue, but it certainly became one Absolutely. under Abraham Lincoln, uh, beginning shortly before, um, shortly before the Emancipation Proclamation and onward. And nobody in his administration wanted an Emancipation Proclamation. Nobody. And they all advised against it. He did it anyway because he believed in it so much. Uh, Timothy Lanham tweets, the downfall of America began when we began to play soccer here. Oh, amen. That's the tweet. <laughs> it's what? That would certainly... W- Don't even give okay. me that pained look in your okay. face, Mr. Soccer Lover. Who, who Nobody that? supports soccer in America. <laughs> who said that? Jeff Fisher. Who tweeted that? Uh, Timothy Lanham. Oh, I'm retweeting that one. Yeah, it's That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> so you can trace it. You can trace the downfall. Mm-hmm. Okay, metric system. Yep. Soccer. Mm-hmm. Elimination of prayer. You're putting not you're necessarily putting soccer in before that order. That? Okay. <laughs> not necessarily okay. in that order. All right. <laughs> uh, Sarah the Roma. If I'm paying tuition to a university, they wouldn't be stopping me from going to class. I I guess I was raised a little differently. Yeah, you were, Sarah, obviously. Uh, Dan Judge, the anti-whiteness isn't against white people. It's against those who are either not woke or against Hamas or supporting Israel or won't toe the maniacal leftist line. Yeah, there is some of that, too. Uh, no question about it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we want to get back into some of these, uh, what's going on the campuses. Uh, we do. We want to see what's going yeah, on there. Do. There was uh, there was some good old-fashioned racism mixed in at the University of Texas, which is great. Uh, so here's the a look at that. here is that the protesters want everybody off campus, but they will not allow the police to get off campus. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Won't let you leave? Uh, you've got guns. Why am I guns? Now, now, look at this. She's yelling racial stuff with that black officer oh okay You're a traitor to your oh, race that's lovely oh my gosh big black blankety blank yeah it's uh, oh my gosh oh yeah anything goes with these yep. with these yep. hamas holes anything yep. goes any kind of hatred perfectly acceptable to these little darlings what morons oh my gosh this thing has just spun completely out of control yeah, hasn't and, it and and doesn't even make sense anymore. Well, it never did, but it especially doesn't now. I was trying to uh, wow figure out uh, you know what's life. It's one like thing is for yeah, because a yeah. lot a lot yeah. of these people that that are screaming and and defense of <clears throat> Gaza and Palestine, they do realize that you know they 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 are the propaganda arm of Hamas now. 
Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. And Hamas has got to be loving this oh, watching from over there. Can you imagine? Absolutely. I just I, I want to update uh, especially the women that are out there protesting in support of Hamas. And don't tell me that you're not out there protesting in support of Hamas cuz that's exactly what you're doing, but they they you're on these college campuses. Just want you to know if you're a female and you're trying to get educated in Gaza, um, you're going to be separated uh, from the boys. So mm-hmm. you got you got uh, separate mm-hmm. genders there. Uh, Hamas uh, banned women and girls from participating in Gaza's um, UN organized marathon. Uh, this is a couple years ago. This article um, causing the UN to cancel the event. Uh, other Hamas uh, bans prohibit women from smoking water pipes in public. That's a shame. <laughs> well, I mean that's not right, a bad right. rule. Uh, riding on the back of motorcycles. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they're not allowed to have male stylists do their hair, among other uh, restrictions. But just so you know, mm-hmm. you're out there in these. It's so ironic that there's they're yeah. in these these liberal mm-hmm. institutions mm-hmm. of learning. Yeah, supporting Hamas, supporting yeah. a group that wouldn't even remember the Taliban consider. a couple of years ago banned women from getting educations. Oh yeah, because uh, under American uh, guidance. They had that ability yes, for about 20 years, and then it was taken away immediately, almost immediately, from the Taliban. So, yeah, uh, again, you, you don't understand what's going on there. You don't understand the Middle East. You yeah. don't understand whose side you should be on. Yeah, and, uh, and we got a report mm-hmm. yesterday uh, about uh, this administration uh, mm-hmm. wanting to allow Palestinian refugees. Oh, yeah. The- right, yeah. Yeah, I was right. already no. talking Congress. Jamal, uh, how about no? no. Yeah. Is exactly no. right. One of the things that's holding that up, though, is that they're trying to make the Palestinian refugees go through Egypt first. Yeah, and Egypt is won't like, have them. Nope. Yeah, Egypt's just like we don't want no, these we, people. We, we Haven't we no. proven that we, we don't want no. Palestinians around? We put up a wall that you can't penetrate. <laughs> That should tell you a little something. Yeah. Uh, and, Jeez. And, and to piggyback what we were saying ah. about women's rights uh, over in the Middle East, um, Chris is recommending we play clip 22. Uh, I think our own Lawrence Jones in this, our former yes, Blaze guy. Yeah, yeah. Watch okay. this. This is good stuff from Columbia. How do you feel about them taking over the building right now? I think that um, their cause is a just cause, and I hope that the administration really hears their demands. I think they're just demands. And she's got the picnic tablecloth draped around her shoulders, which is always a really good sign that you're smart. And we know what's going to come out of your mouth is worth listening to. That's Chairman (laughs) Arafat to you. (laughs) All right. Go ahead. Do you feel like it was right to hold three of the janitor workers hostage <laughs> with inside of the building? Yeah, that would, I think that's a yeah. really false narrative. That's, that's what a the, false narrative. The Did they do it or not, allowed to leave. woman? I, I think that that's a really false narrative. Even Ooh. if the janitors are saying that, you're saying that that's not true. I think that it's, it's a really murder. false narrative that the students took unreal. anyone hostage. How do you that's feel unreal. about some of the Jewish students saying that they don't feel safe here on campus? I think that this is also a really false narrative that's being promoted. Do you think October 7th and the attack that happened is a false narrative? Do you believe that some of the women were Good for you. Good for you, Lawrence. So this is what happened. Get out of my face, please. So... Uh, so I, know, this is I gotta what say you, that's a good move on her. Part. Wow, good, good for you, Lawrence. Lawrence. Nice you interview. The good. Of what happened on October good. 7th, the rape of women. Hmm. Um, what's happening there? They they deny what happened. Uh, as you know, that is is actually factual that's now great. that the uh, hmm. janitorial workers were blocked inside of the building. Yep. And anytime you bring that up, the Jewish cause, the Jewish people, the kids that feel unsafe on campus, they deny the reality of it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And, and look at those signs. Nice. There. You saw the signs. There, I mean, such a grassroots uh, organizing at all these oh, campuses. Sure. Yeah. I mean, sure. yeah. Could we please put up uh, full screen four uh, showing the the wow that oh, doesn't okay. that, that that feels organized? Just no, no, no. That's dozens grassroots. Of that's grassroots now right signs there. Signs and Palestinian flags. <laughs> Just, that's incredible. So they, somebody's they funding up. all that. Yeah, that's one hour Martin you know? right Wait, there. Right. <laughs> they it's not free to get those Hold printed up. up. Pat, <laughs> are you not. suggesting they didn't stay up all night in their dorm no, rooms? No, that's what I'm suggesting. Handcrafting yeah. those for the <laughs> no, big event? No, those are not handcrafted. <laughs> not handcrafted. Good grief. I mean, Oh, my gosh. It, it, you know, you see stuff like this in the coverage, and you think, are... Are fellow citizens this mm-hmm. stupid? Yeah, I know. Are they? And are yes. they just completely yes, uninformed many are. or are they just many dumb? Are. 
Although I will say this, uh, lest we lose sight of the fact that most Americans are right thinking, uh, 80% yes. of Americans support Israel over Hamas. 80 to 20. So this is a small percentage. The vast, vast majority of Americans understand the issue. There are some useful idiots in this country. There's always going to be 10 or 20%. And that's what's killing this administration. That's what's killing Joe Biden right now. And, and, yes. and what a shame it is. But, uh, you know, it's a shame for us, too, because we have to put up with it. But, yep. I mean, that's what he's trying to, you know, he can't admonish him. Oh, it's against the law. He shouldn't be doing that. I mean, he should be mm-hmm. locking it down. Yeah. And what and what it did instead is do the both sides thing yeah. that they've accused Trump of of doing yep. for so many years now, uh, and he essentially did say, "There's oh, there's good, there's good people on both sides. Yep. Don't mess with the Hamas people; they're wonderful." But I would say some are not as wonderful as others. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. 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 Yeah. So you're saying that, that this chick at UCLA, um, or I guess, no, it was just a, it was a chant. There's yeah, so the chant places. calling for the intifada. Yeah, so you're saying this is not mm-hmm. representative of most Americans? Um, let's most see. Americans. Okay, let's see. Listen to that. Long Do you know what an intifada is? Incredible. Yeah, but I, I like mine with a little ketchup on it. Do you? Yeah. yeah. What about pickles? Any kind of no, not no. A pickle, any particular no, kind of I mean, ketchup? I like if I'm gonna have a pickle, it's gonna be just a separate cold <laughs> pickle dill once in a while. <laughs> any kind of ketchup? Could you use do, fancy right? ketchup? Yeah. Like fancy what? whatever? No. 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 Okay. No, I'm sending the antifada right. back. <laughs> <laughs> just over fancy yeah, ketchup. Yeah, that is not <laughs> really? happening. Yeah. It'll ruin it. It'll ruin your antifada. <laughs> <laughs> not the right ketchup. And speaking of uh, Gaza and Hamas, uh, what's happening in Israel? We have. Got to have. We're about to have boots on the ground over there. Oh, man. Matt Gates thinks so. And he talked to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin about that yesterday. Ms. Lockin just said there'll be about 1,000 U.S. service members operating a peer system off of Gaza. How many of them will have guns, a, a, Mr. A, what's that, what do you say? A peer system? Is that the... Yeah. yeah. Is that well, the, typically the, all of the... Yeah, we're going to uh, be out like service building. Members, yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, service uh, members carry guns. Listen, listen to the nuance to protect here. themselves if, if challenged. So if someone from land in Gaza shoots at our service members who are on the $320 million pier that we're building, you're <laughs> telling me our service members can shoot back? They, they, have, the, they have the right to, uh, to return fire to protect themselves. Now, Well, now do we again, think that's like, so now I want to move to the likelihood that mm-hmm. you think someone from land in Gaza might shoot at our service members on this pier. Do you think that that's a likely scenario? That's possible, yes. This is a very telling moment, Mr. Secretary, because you've said sure something is. that's quite possible that could happen, right? Shots from Gaza mm-hmm. on our service mm-hmm. members, and then the response, our armed service members shooting live fire into Gaza. That is a possible outcome here so that we can become the Port Authority and run this pier. Right? Uh, that, that, that's correct. You know, I, I expect that we will always Don't have the ability to protect ourselves. Don't you think that counts as boots on the ground? President Biden told the country that we weren't going to have boots on the ground in Gaza. And we won't. Okay, but you yeah, guys but parse the distinction. That's right. Between, like when Americans think boots on the ground, they think Americans in harm's way or engaged actively in a conflict. You guys seem to be sort of um, saying that boots on a pier connected to the ground, <laughs> connected to service members yep. shooting into Gaza, doesn't right, count no, as boots on the right. ground. That's right. It does not. Uh, I think you're going to find the the American people have a different perspective on that. If you have people shooting into Gaza, Uh you probably should have a vote on that, pursuant to our war powers. Wow, yeah. Yes. Yes, we we probably should, Matt. But we're not going to. We probably should. We're not going to. So picky. Not under this president, anyway. And again, this is is how it all began with Vietnam. You know, we had advisors. We had people there just in case. We're, We're training them, blah, blah, blah. And they got more and more involved in the conflict. It, you, it doesn't just stop with advisors or building a pier or having people there just in case or teaching. That doesn't stop there. And that's the reality of it. And that's why people are worried about getting so enmeshed in this conflict. And it's not going to stop if our soldiers are getting fired at. Mm, right. And we're firing back. Right. It's just nothing but escalation. That escalates the whole thing. Indeed.
Uh, all right, let me tell you about Fast Growing Trees. It is the biggest online nursery in America. More than 10,000 different kinds of plants, over 2 million happy customers in the U.S. They have everything you could possibly want. If you want fruit trees or palm trees, you might want might not want to maybe send your palm tree to Montana, Minnesota. That might not be the best idea. Really? But that's what's fantastic about Fast Growing Trees and their experts there because they'll advise you. They they give you the advice on uh, what exactly would be yeah. right for your climate. You may want and your a space. palm tree you might in want Minnesota. That. And I would love that. I'm not sure a palm tree even works that well in Dallas, Texas, frankly. <laughs> no. you got to kind of go to Houston for that and uh, their climate. Florida, Florida. for that. Yes. Hawaii, Southern California, those kinds of places. But that's what they'll tell you at Fast Growing Trees. They make it really easy to order online, too, and your plants are shipped directly to your door one to two days. Along with their 30-day Alive and Thrive guarantee, they offer free plant consultation forever. Nice. This uh, spring, they have the best deals online. Up to half off on select plants. And because you listen and watch this show, you'll get an additional 15% off your first purchase when you use the offer code PAT at checkout. An additional 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com. Use the promo code PAT. Fastgrowingtrees.com. Offer is valid for a limited time. Terms and conditions may apply. Pat Gray Unleashed. Missed an episode? Catch up anytime, anywhere podcasts are found. Pat Gray will be right back. Welcome, Triple Eight Nine Hundred Thirty Three Ninety Three. Pat Unleashed on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, it's YouTube.com slash Pat Gray on YouTube. Uh, subscribe for us. That'd be great. Also, you want to subscribe because Jeffy and I have an off the record off the coming record up. Today. You want to subscribe at blazetv.com. Use the promo code Pat Originals, get $30 off. Did they say how long that uh, code was going to last, Chris? Whenever they tell us to so stop saying it. Okay. See, it's kind of like a fine line. It's like we want to keep telling people about that code, mm-hmm. but we don't want the people upstairs to hear us. Right. Right. Stop asking how long it. it's going to last. Because then they'll be like, hey, they're still using that code, so take advantage while the manager's away, y'all. <laughs> We've got crazy <laughs> while the manager's out of town. Pat Originals for $30 <laughs> off. All right. Uh, so we've got another example of one of these pro-Gaza, pro-Hamas freaks. Honestly. Hamas holes. These people are just mentally ill, man. <clears throat> yeah. Get this. They don't understand. What is she saying? She's shame. saying shame. For holding Shame. up an Israeli flag. Shame! All right. Somebody. I mean, somebody should be shamed Her there. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm uh, convinced. She's Are holding you? a free I'm Gaza that sign. That can convince me. If you're okay. listening. Me. I'm on her side now. <laughs> free Gaza sign. While the people she's yelling shame at were holding up an Israeli flag. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. How egregious. Yeah, egregious. I mean, obviously, she had to scream. Honestly, college campuses are, they've replaced wow. our mental institutions. Yes. Well, our mental yeah. wards are now yes. liberal institutions of learning. It's really true. Oh, gosh. Just sad but true. Repulsive. Okay, so uh, this next one. And we one. did, uh, before you get to that, though, yeah. I will say, because he was holding that flag, it reminded me that they did... Uh, Take down the Palestinian flag and put up the United States flag back at um, in North. Was it North Carolina or South uh, Carolina? Harvard, I uh, thought. Or, yeah, it was Harvard. UNC yeah, Chapel? Okay. I think it was Harvard. It might have been everywhere. No. Yeah, have, I, oh, oh, they, oh yeah. where is this? This is UNC. Oh, UNC yeah, Chapel. North Carolina, oh, okay. Yeah. Is it the frat boys again? Come the to frat the rescue. Boys, they they, they didn't yes. put it back up, which I thought, okay, good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good. That's good. awesome. Yes. Good. I don't know. Now, I don't know. If and Harvard. there's an Israeli flag in the background there that the people are holding so, up. It's a good point. I don't know if Harvard did, though. So we've got, no. we've got uh, frat boys to the rescue at Arizona State, okay. frat boys to the rescue at UNC Chapel Hill. I mean, UCLA? Uh, it, I UCLA? Mean, at UCLA? Yeah. I mean, it's mm-hmm. like, that. I, I feel like there's a book title out there, How Frat Boys Will Save America. <laughs> frat boys. That's great. Yeah, that is awesome. Them. That's great. That gives you some hope, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And look at them. They're having stuff thrown on them and stuff. Jeez. I'm glad they're doing this. Yes. Good. 
<laughs> Look at this. And they're, notice is the woman. So and, and notice angry. the, the, the Hamas holes are all masked. Uh-huh. Why? Yeah, and aren't you proud on. of who you're supporting? Why are you masked? They're, well, they're uh, they're angry yeah. that the American flag There's is good... getting replaced back to its mm-hmm. rightful place where a Palestinian Unreal. flag. Unreal. It tells yes. you who they are and yes, what they're all does. about. It tells you everything you need to Absolutely know. Absolutely mental. But all of these. Um, Universities are like a different timeline. You know what I mean? Like, like the fire gets lit, and then uh, some places. And by the way, when you see the University of Florida issue their statement where we're not a daycare and we're not, you can hear Ben Sass typing that. Yeah. As the president of the love University it. of Florida. Yeah, love it. Uh, anyway, so here, I, I thought we would go to the University of Washington here, where. You can't keep up with this stuff. Chris and I are constantly throughout the day emailing videos in, and and it's just there are fires everywhere around this nation. To keep going to your classes, to keep being proud, to stay safe. Um, we've warned students about the encampment and told them to stay away from it. Olivia Feldman is the co-president of Students Supporting Israel. Do you feel safe on campus? No, I do not feel safe on campus. I have been called mm. names. I have been spit at. I have been laughed at. And she's a great granddaughter of Holocaust survivors. Mm. It is a very very visceral feeling in me when somebody tells me to go back to the gas chambers. Oh, jeez. The people oh my gosh. will never be defeated! She's calling for fellow Jewish students to stay proud, mm. while protesters aren't planning to leave anytime soon. Mm. I mean, I'm surprised mm. it's that team at the University of Washington at this point, because that you would see... Like, I haven't seen uh, Boulder check-in yet, or Madison... Uh, like they will. Colorado no, they and will. Wisconsin. Berkeley. Have we seen UC Berkeley? Yeah, that's interesting. I don't, I don't think I so. I will say, I will say, we cannot finish this show today without playing the greatest clip on this sheet, <laughs> which is clip <laughs> 23. Is this, is this your girl? It's my girl. Yeah. She's <laughs> okay. awesome. She's awesome. And KJP about this campus unrest. We'll get to that, too. Coming up. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Uh, welcome. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. I uh, thought I'd bring in uh, one of our Mother's Day boxes from Kexi Cookies. On a Wednesday Beautiful. when Jeffy's On here? a Wednesday when Jeffy's here. That's risky, bro. Is it, it is, the, isn't is it? it? Just the box? Like, I'm or? surprised I still have my hand. T- tell him it's just the box. <laughs> just tell him it's empty. Tell him it's just empty. a box. Just okay. Okay. Sorry, Jeffy. Well, wait. Let me let me look in here. and Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's got some confetti. I love your confetti, by the way. Important. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it comes with these delicious cookies. Do you have the lemon one? Oh, my gosh. Yes, we have the yeah, lemon well, one. Yeah, well, you're not getting all I'll that. Save the le- I'll uh, save the lemon one. The chocolate coconut that, no. one. Lemon one for me, please. Oh, yeah, that no, one is, uh, I forget what. Somebody stole a card out of this, which is really oh. distressing. It's got the turtle one. Oh, and here's the lemon blueberry. The lemon blueberry. Mm, yeah, that's mine. That might, no, that might be the best cookie of yeah, all time. That's mine. Yours. That's so mine. delicious. No, oh, here's the card. Yeah, okay. It's just at the bottom of this oh, so you particular just, box. Accusations flying left and right that aren't true. Okay. <laughs> did they fly left and yeah, right? They sure did. did. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Throwing out names and accusations there before I knew what was going on. I'm just hung yeah. up on the Chris yeah. quote. I love your confetti, end quote. There yeah. You go. Thank you. It's thank, a good one. Th- thank it's, you, by it's the way. a good one. It doesn't get anywhere. It's just <laughs> Oh, okay. Together. Yeah, this this one is yeah. the horchata cookie. Oh, that's... Oh. Yeah, you can have that, Chris. No, I'm having the lemon <laughs> yeah, one. No, you're not. Oh, you're not having the lemon one. Oh, the watch me. Delicious. Watch, watch me. Watch. The lemon blueberry <laughs> delicious. Maybe you guys split that. I mean, they're big, you know? They're big. Uh-oh. And I know that's like heresy to I mean, you, uh-oh. Jeffy, so... Here comes Chris. I mean, I guess, <laughs> oh, no. I guess if we have to... You gotta save one of these for Stu, too. I promised him one. Uh, wait, wait. And Glenn. Has an animal looked at the that. cookies? Has an animal looked yeah. at the cookies? Oh, yeah. then Stu may not be able yeah, to right. qualify for the cookie. What a right. shame. <laughs> <laughs> right, because if it's any kind of animal product has been near it, near it. he won't yeah. eat it. He won't eat it. So, anyway, kexi.com. If you order today, guaranteed delivery by uh, Mother's Day. I think that's until the 5th. May 5th. So we haven't had a Mother's Day since last year, so this is the new right. one coming around. Yes. Okay. This is the new one coming around. Uh and Mother's Day is the twelfth. So make sure you order these. Do it today while you're thinking about it. K-E-K-S-I.com. Kexi.com. We gotta show you this uh K 
KJP uh, clip on the campus unrest. Yeah. She's fabulous. Uh, apparently, she got a little excited about this. Yeah. Is the answer no, the administration has not been in touch with anyone at Columbia? I, I don't have any uh, readout. I should have I should have answered that, and uh, I believe that was mm-hmm. Jeff's question. Uh, mm-hmm. You should have. Yeah. I, I don't have any questions to, suck. to you of, of uh, conversations Quit with any the desk. university. You know there's um, microphones on uh, desk. Any u- university oh, leaders yeah. uh, at this time. Uh-huh. Uh, obviously, the president's going to go speak at Morehouse, and so we've been oh. in touch with them because he's going to uh, deliver a, a commencement speech. He's looking forward to doing that. It desk. is such an yeah. important yeah. moment in time uh, for yeah. graduates, and he's going to go, obviously, to uh, to West Point. Those are the two. That he's Quit done. pounding on the podium, oh, stupid. Way, right? There's microphones there, and every time you do it, it makes a big noise. Why would you do that? Stop pounding. Well, she didn't like that question. It, no, she did not. Yeah. And it's a weird thing to get fired up about, too. Why? Why are you? They're so defensive the when, when they and Because have they to, have. They have to defend the indefensible. They do. Yes. But right. Yet they, right? They don't mind it in theory. They just don't like to have to defend it. Yes. They, they want to appeal to all of their left-wing yes. base. Not just some of their left-wing base. No. Because it included in that base. This is the interesting thing thing that the Democrats are up against right now. For for whatever reason, a lot of Jewish people are left-wing Democrats. But also, far left, even further left than yes. the Israeli or the pro-Jewish group, are the Hamas holes. And now they're trying to please both factions. Can't. Sorry, that's impossible. And so they've got a dilemma right yes, now. Yes, they do. They have a real problem they're trying to play both sides against the middle and you can't you better pick you better pick a side and it better be israel's giving the american people a little bit more of a breathing room right yeah Gosh. give us a little bit more of a breathing room <laughs> i mean great. that's a tough call for joe biden it is <clears throat> to pick Israel. it's a quandary it's a quandary on the other side of the ledger uh you have donald trump full out flat out support right for israel in the middle of him being distracted by all these court cases, yep. he can take a moment to show solidarity with the Israeli people yep. and with Jewish students. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the the actual president of the United States right now, mm-hmm. he doesn't care. He doesn't nope. know. No, he doesn't. He's sleeping. And, and he's just... tying the hands of the Israelis. And he's trying to play both sides against the middle. And you can't do it. You can't do it. And he's getting us into wars all over the globe. Uh, yes. It's just, it's actually right. <sighs> very maddening. Sure is. <laughs> very maddening. Sure is. Meanwhile, at Columbia, you got the protest leader <laughs> making certain demands. This is great. This, uh, this is, is Keith's girl, man. My this girl. girl. This is Keith's awesome. girl this right here. This is the greatest <laughs> clip of all time for these you. protesters. Okay. This is. I want yeah, to play. It, it, I want it's to a play, big setup, man. I want to play revolutionary, huh. uh-huh. but I don't want to do it on an empty stomach. Oh, this is great. Okay. Why what should the university be steps? obligated to provide food to people who have taken huh. over a building? Uh, Why should the university provide well, for, food? First of all, we're saying that they're obligated to provide food to students who pay for a meal plan here. But you oh. mentioned that there was a request to, that food and water be brought in. Unless I misunderstood. To allow it to be brought in. I mean, well, I guess it's ultimately a question of what kind of this is community crazy. and obligation Columbia feels it has to its students. Um, do who have you taken want over a to building. Do die of dehydration and starvation oh, or get good. severely ill, even <laughs> if they disagree with you? If the answer is no, then you should allow basic. Oh, I mean, my. it's crazy to say because we're on an Ivy League campus, but this is like basic humanitarian aid we're asking for. Like, uh-huh. could people please have a glass of water? But they, they, they did put themselves in that very deliberately in that situation and in that position. So it, it seems like you're sort of saying, we want to be revolutionaries. We want to take up this building. Now would you please bring us... My gosh. Pause yeah. it for a second. Yeah, that's exactly Chris has pointed what you're out, saying. Chris has pointed out, this is distracting to me now. He's so distracting. So distracting. Yeah, the, guy, the guy behind her with the bare t-shirt. midriff yes. Yes. showing his belly. Look at that. Huh? That's a good look, man, on a, on a Palestinian a, protester. A look. If, if That's you, a good you, look. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy, yeah, it that is. is a good look. Please Jeffy likes it. it. If, he, he if likes you're it. listening to audio only right now, you must subscribe <laughs> just just to see the whole juxtaposition of this whole thing. Nobody supports bare midriffs <laughs> on you. Hamas holes more than Jeff Fisher. I mean, not just Hamas holes. <laughs> well, so no, yeah, Any bare midriffs. Yeah. Okay. At least he's wearing a right. belt. Mm-hmm. So the yeah. pants yeah. are up. But 
holding. Come on, but they're, they're, Get they're, a sporting, shirt. they're sporting the fashion statement of uh, the Palestinian garb. I love oh, well, the, yeah, uh, the picnic table. table. I yeah. would love to see dude in crop top show up and and the uh, Gaza Strip dressed oh, like that. Please, dude. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> Do you see the parades? They'd of the, be of beheaded. The, of the trans guys in the parades marching down the streets protesting in free Palestine and they're stripping mm-hmm. in the middle of the streets. and yeah. they, they, We've talked about it. that go over length, well but, in Gaza yeah. City. <laughs> go over really well. Yeah. They Gosh. should do it there. I'd love it. So she's got they, they more actually here. actually know what they should. Remember, she opened up saying, where is the university? We paid for these meal plans. Where is our food university? I mm-hmm. know we've occupied this building, but bring us food and water. Okay. Okay. And there's more. Thank we want to be revolutionaries. We want to take up this building. Now would you please bring us food and water? Nobody's asking them to bring anything. Every, just, we're, we're asking them yeah, to you did not ask. violently stop us from bringing that's in that's basic that's humanitarian aid. Violently stopping us. stopping the delivery of food. She contradicted I, we are herself. looking for a commitment from them that they will not stop oh, it but violently. they haven't stopped it yet. They Wait, haven't well, stopped. I don't. It. I'm not. I don't know to what don't, extent not. it has been attempted, but uh, we're looking for a commitment. And <laughs> <laughs> you see this? So she has no idea what she's saying. No. Yes. No idea. We've gone from Jeez. honor our meal plan yeah. to don't block food being brought in from outside to I don't know if they're blocking the food from the outside, but we need a commitment that they won't block food from the outside. Why do you need a commitment if they haven't done it yet? <laughs> The woman is insane. In fact, Jordan should tell. What is, hold on a second. He had this. Listen to this. Uh, he wrote on Twitter. Uh, I did a quick search and found that this lady who refused to reveal her name is named uh, Johanna King Slutsky. She no. is a paid instructor and <laughs> that PhD. No, that's that that's real. not true. Come on. Start Googling. Her name Let is me get to Joanna the point. King That wasn't Slutsky? the point I was making. I honestly started <laughs> that's reading her, this, that's and I only didn't fans know. How account. can that not be the point, Keith? How can that not <laughs> that's her only be fans the point? That's the only point here. I started reading this, and I had no idea what her name was. I tr- I swear to you. She is a paid instructor and oh, PhD man. candidate at Columbia studying, quote, this is what she's studying, that genius there. Theories of the imagination and poetry as interpreted yeah. through a Marxian lens. But that that, that oh. isn't true because her name isn't wow. true. So it's, we have to we hold have on, to get on, past the fake name. So you're not going to Google it? I've got to I've got to Google this for I you here. No, uh, it's hey, it, she wants it viewed through a Marxist lens. What a surprise that is! No She's way. a Marxist. He does great reporting. Oh. Uh, That's awesome, Jordan uh, Shat. Shatkul? I can never say his name. Um, so I told you. Yeah, here we go. She's already incredible. And yep. I found her. Credible. Yep. That's, uh, uh, anyway, so. It's all one thingism. You gotta, uh. Marxism, Marxism is also tied into this. N- next time all you take it. over a campus, hmm. mm-hmm. make sure that you occupy the cafeteria. I think that's the moral of the story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whether your name is Slutsky or not. <laughs> yeah, right. We're finding King Slutsky here. <laughs> We're totally finding more information on her. Wow. Slutsky. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that up. You can't. I mean, you could, but you'd get in trouble for it. So I'm glad we didn't. Oh. All right. Let me tell you about Eden Pure Thunderstorms. They're back uh, with their famous air air purifier, their Thunderstorm air purifier, top-selling air purifier. It quickly destroys viruses, odors, mold, and so much more. Thousands of five-star reviews. You know it works. Any smell will vanish after just a few seconds with the thunderstorm being on. It's so easy. It's uh, It's a process that... Takes almost no time. You just pop up the plug, plug it into the wall, and turn it on. Magic. It runs quietly and efficiently, sends out O3 molecules that destroy these odors. You know, I've had this uh, this remodeling project mm. going on at my house for, I thought it was going to take three days. It's been three weeks now. And wow. so the smell of silicon as they're trying to, you know, glue things, uh, surfaces onto yeah. the cabinetry is just so strong, killing, you know it's killing brain cells. Uh, so I plugged this in, turned it on, and in just minutes, I mean, that's gone. And we're sound asleep because of it. Just fantastic. Go to EdenPureDeals.com, use the discount code PAT3, and you'll save $200. EdenPureDeals.com, discount code PAT3. <laughs> What are you battling about, Jeff? You, this what? is Pat Gray Unleashed. I was just thinking that your construction has taken so much longer than what you had anticipated, mm-hmm. and you have your filters on. Um, you know, mm-hmm. are you going to have to change the filters now? Because uh, 
<laughs> on the construction on the Eden Pure lot. Thunderstorm. Yeah. No, there's this is surprising. No filters in it. You oh. don't have to change any filters because oh, wow. there there are none. Oh, it that's works good. on it. That's a, good news. Sorry. Yeah. 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 No, I'm glad you brought that up. By the way, um, <laughs> Johanna King Slutsky. Um, yes. She's all over the internet. I mean, she gets around. But um, well, there, with that last name, yeah. The, uh, well, like Slutsky. I mean, that's you got to get around. I was letting it lie because yeah. I just kind of okay. threw it out there. All right. And back up. So anyway, um, she's all over the internet, but so many of her pages have been scrubbed now. She's killed her linkedin she's killed her instagram um i'm seeing from linkedin here, won't allow her to kill it. <laughs> linkedin will be hounding her that is so true. mercilessly <laughs> for the next year i'm looking <laughs> at, at reddit or posts more. about her as as a teacher uh -huh. um like how does she gray and all this stuff i mean she has i mean this isn't made up i mean she's been around wow. so um <laughs> Again. With that name, uh, no. again, right, again, you just let it go. When yeah, I do right, this, you right. Know? Yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. she may be a caricature, but uh -huh. she's a real person. I mean, this is <laughs> just that's crazy. Anyway, yeah, it's crazy. so Slutsky has King, been around. Has been around. Hard to believe. King yeah, that's Slutsky. Okay. Johanna King is it, Slutsky. Is it, King is it or queen? hyphenated there? Yeah. It's a hyphenated King last hyphen name. S L U T Z K Y. Don't forget what she's uh, majoring in. Um, let's see. I guess uh, we have to believe this is actually true now. Yeah, mm. nutrition. No. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was it again? Uh, theories of the imagination and poetry is interpreted through a Marxian lens. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, wow. That is a uh, Ivy League. Uh, oh my God. PhD level. Um, is it? That's, Apparently, oh, according that shows to, you where we are, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it sure does. And it all Why would you started with the go metric college, system, honestly. The no, metric system. It's See? a stinking metric system that's responsible right. for this decay in our society. Yeah, yeah you open the door to <laughs> to the to metric everything. system, and the next thing you know, yeah. you Marxism, Marxism is also is also creeping in. Yeah, that comes with it. Then, mm -hmm. Slutskis. Yep. Pretty King. soon, you're playing soccer. King Slutskis. It's over. Soccer. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon, five. Six, seven million American kids are playing soccer, and you know you're done. You know you're done. Now. You are. I swear, if soccer, I want to know if if 1963 was a watershed moment for soccer. No, in we should look into that. Is but, that the first time a, a actual get together on a soccer field, a pitch came to be? 1963. I'll bet you you could trace probably, it back to that. Probably pretty close to it's that. So actually, I mean, I'm gonna it find is. it. I, I'm finding if, it. I mean, it, it feels, as I'm thinking about history, it feels like it was about that time. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a North it. American Soccer League uh, that started in 1968. Okay, well, so we're, yeah, we're but, close. That's close. But it had to get organized for about yeah. five years before, yeah. right? Yes. Let's just I, say, screw it. Yes, soccer first introduced in America. Started in 63. Yeah. yeah. When they started planning the first league. What uh, a year. <laughs> what a destructive year. Yep. Us. I don't yep. know. What else you got on here? Do we have any more? Um, we got uh, tear gas has been deployed. Yeah. So if you, if you, yeah. So if you go uh, oh. number twenty-seven, that's when the police were able to get into Hamilton Hall. Mm. They finally cleared that out, right? They cleared that out. Yes. Sir. All right. Let's see that. So Hamilton Hall, that's an administration building, right? Yes. So and that's, that's where you can get into the computers and erase any kind of uh, change your grades or yeah. any kind of money you owe the university. Get into the computers there, right? Not that any of these brainiacs could actually do that. They owe any money anymore? No. Their student debt. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. That's right. Eliminated. Yeah, okay. Deal. They seem to be standing around what a lot. What are they doing? They're going through the action. window. They're Probably. trying to go through the window. Oh. In this okay. Lab. But I mean, the funny thing... It like dumb. Why would they be trying to go through the window if they're at the door? The, the funny <laughs> thing about this whole thing was, was that... Blocked. This is the, uh, after they'll get them all out and they get arrested. Here's a busload of them getting escorted out. Here are the chants. Where are the clips? Everybody's, so the everybody's chanting. Oh, they're heroes. Look at our, look at our Hamatsi heroes. Now they're going to be released and mm -hmm. have no criminal record. And they're mm -hmm. going to go on to the next university to light a fire there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's how you do it. Mm. So anyway, I prefer the USF uh, tear gas uh, uh, twenty-five. Can we play that? That's South Florida. Yeah, that's our last one. Yeah, this one. is in Tampa. Okay. Few of the demonstrators. Oh, right now you just saw. <laughs> I'm going to step out of the way. 
There are things being launched at them. All it Good. looks like to me is something that's emitting some kind of white gas, white smoke. <laughs> it, so the question here is, is this something that the protesters are launching? Uh, to try to keep law enforcement away, or did law no. enforcement shoot a projectile that, with the smoke? Yes, they shot tear gas. Yes. Saw the to be law enforcement sending it. It looks to be law enforcement putting it in. We're going to kind of step back, though, as this They're comes killing, towards us. It looks to be law enforcement killing, sending it in. in. That is not to say the demonstrators didn't pick up what was thrown yeah, at them and throw it back. Video. All right, Aaron, uh, send somebody you else out down of the way there, because oh. that's uh, probably tear gas. We're taking a live look here from uh, our chopper. Sky 9 is high above, so you can uh, get another angle here uh, and see exactly what is going on. But first, uh, and we've seen this Spectrum at news, bad news, college bad news. campuses across the nation. We haven't seen it get right, to this so level there you go. yet. That's how Florida is handling it. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yes. And speaking of Florida, uh, DeSantis is taking action on a whole bunch of things. And, I mean, anything you're hearing about that is evil, <laughs> he's trying to put a stop to in Florida. It's really great. I love what he's doing. Um, right now, he's suing the Biden administration over Title IX. Uh, play cut 10 for us. Uh, we are working with the attorney general. Uh, we have filed a lawsuit to fight back against what Biden's trying to do with Title IX. To take away... Good. Good. There you go. Too much clapping. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is this. Uh, injecting men into women's bathrooms and locker rooms is not good for women. Thank you. Uh, injecting Jeez. boys into girls' sports is not good for, for girls. Right. And so this is bad right. policy. Yes. Uh, but it's also not constitutional. That is not what the law says. Uh, they are twisting the law to try to impose mm -hmm. an ideological agenda on the rest of the country. And I've said very clearly in Florida, uh, we do not consent to that and we will not comply with it and we will fight back against it. So you can take that to the bank. I mean, the fact you have to have a press conference for this, Pat. Uh, yeah. Boom. It's incredible. How is this guy not an option? For I don't us? know. I don't know. I don't know. I really I can't understand it. How is he not an option? I don't know. Because he didn't wait his turn. Well, yeah. True. Right. I guess that's. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> oh, wait, he wears boots that like have lifts on them? He wore heels, not okay. boots. Oh, yeah, to try to make himself look taller. <laughs> so, I mean, that's egregious. Uh, uh, there's okay, the that's answer egregious. to your question. That's unconstitutional and egregious. You know? So, uh, I like this story, too. According to two communist defectors, there are four stages of communist subversion. And right now, America is on the last one. Oh, I was going to say, I thought we were in, like, no, we're, number five. No, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> Forty years ago, a KGB defector, Yuri Bezmenov, yeah. revealed the systematic plan Soviet communists used to take down countries and establish a communist-type society and regime. More recently, a Chinese defector, uh, defector immigrant, Xi Van Fleet, I think that's Greta Van Fleet's cousin, <laughs> Uh, has been on, and Greta, of course, uh, love her music, oh, okay. love her music, has been on a crusade to warn Am Americans about the parallels between what's happening in America today and what Mao did in the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Huh. huh. You mean there's parallels there? Huh. Systematic plan that uh, Bezmenov revealed involves four fluid stages of communist subversion. Demoralization, disorientation, crisis, and normalization. Um, in Mao's America, Xi Van Fleet explains how Mao's destruction of the four olds, old ideas. Man, they talk about that all the time. Yes, they do. Old ideas are automatically bad ideas. Old culture, that's the culture that we're, <clears throat> that we're used that's to. That's what Michelle Obama been was tradition. saying. Yep. Old customs and old habits all have to be replaced. <laughs> It's being replicated by today's leftist cancel culture, which will end what is left of freedom in America if it is not stopped. Uh, I mean, we are there. We are there. Not only these four fluid uh, stages, but how many of the 45, and we talked about this so many times, how many of the 45 communist goals from, again, yeah. 1963 entered in the 
into the congressional record in 1963. How many of these commie goals have been achieved? Virtually all of them? Maybe one or two still remain to be fulfilled. Um, But the subversion process has been systematic and consistent and they've been so patient about it, and it's worked. Yep. Yeah. And, and let me tell you about when that started, Pat. Um, probably right about 1963, would you say? <laughs> Maybe about then? With what? I mean, what <laughs> set this off, though, Keith? Seriously. That's what we need to get to. Is oh, gosh. That Damn metric system! If not that, probably what, um, what would you think? Soccer, maybe? Soccer, yes. Being injected into American yes. culture? Uh, yes. And let's let's talk about the prayer thing, which and oh. I don't know that it's necessarily in that order. You know, the metric system, soccer, then prayers. Prayer. <laughs> Might be the exact opposite <laughs> of that, but regardless, all right, those are the three things that has led to the downfall. Uh, oh, the coup. Yeah, the coup. Yep. yep. Death of John F. Kennedy. Man. The murder brought about by the CIA. So, uh huh. Yep. Hmm. And again, I, I, you guys like to gloss over it, but when when you uh, start allowing zip codes <laughs> into I your society we, to sort I the thought, mail, well, I've, I've been told. We gonna I've been told zip codes service. move the mail, and mail moves the country. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I've been told. Who told Thank you that? You. Well, the man, the man, the man, yeah, told the you man that. told me that the man, same man who tried to jam the metric system down my throat. All right. We'll see you on overtime. This is Pat Gray unleashed.